thanks for tuning in. Almost 10 years ago, I recorded a video on how I store my dies, specifically my Spellbinders dies. And to this day, that's still uh, serving its purpose and serving me well. And this is how they were. And um, actually, it's still uh, doing its job. However, with my recent Temu haul, I've had to find another way to store my dies because there, there's a lot. <laughs> there's so many and this is not necessarily going to serve that purpose because um, first of all, these ones are no longer available. These um, holders here with the magnetic thing. But also, there's a whole lot of them. So I need to find something that's a little bit more practical. Um, and so I thought I'd share that with you today. So moving on to our recording section here, we have a lot of these um, dies that I have purchased. Uh, you've seen some of these in previous videos, but um, there's more coming. So I've actually vowed not to make any purchase until I have used at least something from the last batch. I think that's the way I could discipline myself. So what I have purchased is a, let's put that aside for a moment, is one of these storage boxes. So I have purchased this from Spotlight. Spotlight is a um, craft store um, which is for my American viewers it's probably equivalent to your uh, Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, so they focus on craft um, supplies um, and often give you up to 40% voucher as well to help um, discount some of their products. This particular one was going for $15 uh, less uh, voucher. It was a whole lot less than that. But as you can see, it's got these colored um, containers uh, which I intend to use for um, the dies to be able to store them and then hopefully label these and group them in a way that maybe makes sense to me. Then I'll be taking them out of their container and storing some of the Sizzix thick dies um, and hopefully that'll fit. Let me just show you what I'm planning to do. So if I put that aside for the moment, I have just um, done some labeling that I'm going to use. And these are broadly just the categories that I'm starting off with to help group them together because mainly they're the ones that I have. I gravitate a lot through alphanumeric and food and drinks florals and some 3ds and also words i might be able to add maybe celebrations in there at some point but let's get started so if we were to group these together oh, that would go into floral words i'll do that later so um this would be food, food, uh, maybe girly stuff. Um, I wouldn't be putting this, uh, maybe I will put the stamps together. But this would fall under a 3D um, set. I'm going to go through this and then with the magic of video, uh, come back in less than a second. So I think I've managed to group them together, food, words, alphanumeric, frames and 3D and floral. I've got a few more somewhere, but this is enough to get me started. So what we'll do is just apply a label. 
sorry I'm out of um, center there but There you go, and so that's kind of how that's looking like now. So what I'll do is maybe open this up and then just add those words. I will keep them in their plastic because um, I don't want the blade to rub against each other and scratch and lose its... Um, effectiveness or the, its cutting ability so I'll put that there that's um, just oh, just close that and then just the alphanumeric will go here that works well so I've got all the different alphanumerics and these are only just my Temu uh, purchases uh, it's a bit flimsy to close, but it does close anyway. Oh, I just dropped one there, but you see where I'm going with this. Oops, that doesn't fit, so that would have to come off. But anyway, uh, there's plenty to go in there. Oh, there's more. Yep. And then links. Off you go. And then the floral. I've got a few more florals in there, but that's where it's going. So the idea is to keep them, and I will show you where I'm intending to put them. And for this box, I will then have a place for these. I've got these in sale because you can see these are usually $29.95 Australian dollars. But for some of them, I got them for like $5 again from Spotlight. Um, so in addition to like my 40% off, it's next to nothing. This is I'm a hopeless bargain hunter. And the worst part is it doesn't even feel like a bargain unless I'm able to share it with someone and brag about it. So I got it for less than half the cost. Yes, so that works. Maybe it should stand up like that so I can see the labels. Yep, that works. These are all the Sizzix stuff. I could possibly even fit some more and I'm sure I can hunt them down and put them here. So I, I hope you enjoyed that short session and hopefully you find some inspiration in your storage of your metal dies as well. Good luck with your future Temu orders. Um, I was going to record um, more of my purchases but I felt that there's enough in the YouTube world for the more recent purchases I didn't want to bother but I, I wanted to share a comment about my recent experience on an incorrect order and also some extra charges that I'm getting on my credit card. Um, if you have any questions about that, just leave me a comment. Have a great day. Bye.